Hello, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your week ahead reading for the week of May 15th to the 21st, 2023. So let's dive into it. We're gonna start with two Oracle cards and a rune. The rune that came out for you is Thorisas in the inverted position. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna be honest with you, okay? I don't sugarcoat my readings. This is a rune when in reversed, it can represent danger. Okay, it can represent a need to stop what you're doing and breathe, kind of reassess and, you know, proceed with caution, proceed carefully, listen to your intuition, especially, okay? This is, you know, I, I'm just getting the message here. Like if your intuition is telling you that something is off, don't wait for proof that it's off. If your intuition is saying that you should go do something, go do something, okay? I, I don't know what this is talking about. Maybe we'll get some more info with the tarot, but I am just saying, like this is saying, do not make rash decisions. Maybe if you have made rash decisions in the recent past, this, you know, you're kind of having to pay for it right now. Um, I, this week, I would just be careful, okay? I'm not trying to put you on edge. I'm not trying to scare you. You know, this isn't like a bad prediction. It's just saying like, just make sure you're being safe this week, okay? Put your seatbelt on, drive carefully, lock your doors at night, <laughs> and just listen to your intuition, that's it. You know, this isn't predicting danger. It's just saying, take extra precautions this week, all right? So moving on. We have work coming through. Of course, that would come through for Capricorn. <laughs> and it says, I'm now available to receive all who can benefit from my work. Use me to relieve suffering on the planet. May all who need me find me. The divine is my complete source for all prosperity and will provide. So there is a lot of energy surrounding your work, your career, what you do every day, your purpose in life. So uh, I wonder if it's a good week for that. Again, we'll see the more nuanced messages when we get to the tarot. From the fairies, we have the air element. 60 may be an important number or the number six. Uh, I'm also seeing the month of June. There may be some significant developments that you are aware of already. The air element from the fairies represents allowing the wind to blow you where it may, allowing the universe to take you where it's trying to take you, and listening to the signs, the synchronicities, and the events that are unfolding in your life. Allow the wind to take you where you're supposed to go. Also, I'm hearing the phrase like, look what the wind blew in. So I wonder if you're gonna get an unexpected visitor this week or um, an unexpected person reach out to you, call you, uh, something like that. So maybe that's why the danger card is, <laughs> or rune is here in reverse. It's saying like, someone from your past may be returning this week for you. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot, I, there's a lot of mystery right now. So I really am excited to dive into this tarot and get some more specific answers about this. Like what, why do we have to be careful? What is the wind blowing in? Like, where are we going? Where's the wind blowing us this week? It, it seems a little mysterious, I'm not gonna lie. So first card out for you guys, okay, that flipped right over, is the, of course, Ace of Wands, upright. This is a brand new beginning. This is a fresh start. And when I say new beginning, I really genuinely mean a new beginning, okay? This is a new passionate beginning. Some of you guys might've started a new passion project or relationship. And by passion project, I mean like, maybe you like just started a new business, a new, uh, like me, I just started a new YouTube channel that I'm passionate about and posting on right now. I'm a Capricorn moon, makes sense. Uh, maybe you just started a new relationship with someone, you just met someone new and things are spicy. Something passionate, when I use the word passion, I mean like you wake up in the morning thinking about this thing and you're excited to engage in it, whatever it may be. Um, even if it's just like cleaning out your garage, you wake up, you're excited to drink your coffee, put on your, your jeans and clean out that garage. You know what I'm saying? So there's like a new passionate beginning for you, a passion project, something that really fires you up and it's really positive for you, okay? So that's a great card to start out the week on, I'm just saying. Um, see, it's not as scary as we, as we mean it out to be. Some of you guys may be uh, looking for a new job 
or have received a new job and, and you're gonna start that soon. Interesting. Or like you had a new idea for making money for, for work and you're doing it. I'm seeing like so many side hustles for you guys or like an idea or a project that will make you money, even if it's just like selling an old car or I don't know, like starting an eBay and selling some old things as you like do this project of like cleaning something out. I'm seeing someone might like be starting a nanny business or something. I, there's so many different things that are coming through. So let's see what the second card is for you guys. Okay, we have the queen of coins in reverse. I do wonder if some of you guys may have some financial um, thoughts on your mind. I don't wanna say concerns. I just wanna say thoughts because you could be making tons of money, but there's kind of some questions here about how you're gonna budget out for the future, how you are going to, some of you guys, this might actually be like a financial panic. Like, how am I gonna pay my bills? Um, but I don't know, it's just, or like, even if you're just getting a new job and your income's changing, it's kind of like recalibrating everything. Um, I don't know, there's a new beginning that is kind of having you recalibrate things physically and financially in your life. Interesting, interesting. Uh, also, I'm seeing you be a little bit more reserved when it comes to your time, your energy, maybe not um, saying yes to everything this week because you kind of, like, like I'm just getting, again, so much passion. It's almost like you don't even feel like socializing. You just wanted to do this thing that you're passionate about or be with this person that you're passionate about. Like maybe your friends invite you out and you're like, no, sorry, can't. But like, you know, you're really just wanting to stay in and, and do this project or go on a date with that person. So um, I would say if you feel guided to do that and it's just a temporary thing this week, sure. But like, don't neglect people long-term. That's not good. Okay, moving on to the third card. And of course, two cards wanted to come out. Oh, wow, that's really interesting. We have the six of pentacles upright and the eight of pentacles in reversed. Okay, and then on this eight of pentacles, we see someone really strategizing and kind of, um, it's a card of building skills. Okay, so in reversed, I, I'm curious, there's there's been a lot of messages this week in particular about like school and debt. And I know that like the student debt thing is the thing that's like up in the air. Um, I almost wonder if there's some type of development with that happening this week in America, but I don't know. I'm just seeing here like, maybe some of you guys are paying off a student debt or trying to figure that out. Maybe some of you are trying to go back to school and you're like trying to navigate, how can I pay for that? There, there's so many different things going through my mind right now. Uh, if you are in school, I, I, I'm seeing you like trying to balance making money in the present moment and learning and going to school, essentially. You know, not everyone's rich, <laughs> okay? Not everyone can just go to school and focus 100% on studying. Uh, some of us need to work to pay for that school and for living. Uh, the Six of Pentacles is a good card, though. This shows actually receiving money, care, and support from someone in your life, all right? So this could be like being awarded a scholarship. This could be someone who's really like uh, well off, get, literally giving you money. It could even be like an inheritance or someone generous kind of giving you a discount or with like on living expenses or like, I'm just seeing something here about kind of receiving help when it comes to money. All right, isn't that weird? Or maybe it's even just a raise or a bonus uh, at your job. All right, so. There, there's a lot about money here though. Second row, fourth card out, right underneath that Ace of Wands, we have the 10 of Pentacles reversed. This has been coming out for a lot of people in reverse this week, which is really interesting. And again, what do you know? It's a card about money and long-term legacy and thinking about the future, like financially, will this work for me? Will this work for me financially? Will this, like budgeting out your future is, is coming to mind. Can I make this work? Can I afford this? Hmm. I wonder if some of you are going through um, or have went through some type of breakup and 
you're kind of budgeting things out like, can I survive on my own? Like, can I move out on my own? Is this feasible? Uh, there also just may be some minor annoyances at home. If you live with someone, I'm just saying it might be a little tough this week or you might've been having an issue with them. Whenever the 10 of pentacles comes out in reverse, it shows a temporary um, issue in your living situation. So, and, and primarily I view this as an issue with the people that you live with or with the home itself. So there may be some issues to be resolved within your household this week. It may not even be you and another person's issue. It may just be like, maybe you have a leak or something. Um, and maybe like to fix that leak might have costed you money unexpectedly, which is why you're working real hard. See, everything's kind of lining up here. So moving on, center of your spread this week. Center of your spread this week is the page of wands in reverse. Okay, so this represents someone in your life. Actually, and it's right underneath that Queen of Coins reversed, which again represents someone in your life. I would say pay attention to the people around you. Mm. Pay attention to... I Page of Wands gives me someone new to you or younger than you who is really enthusiastic, energetic. They could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If they're not new to your life, they could be like in a new position in your life. Like maybe you just moved in, maybe you just started dating them, maybe like, I don't know, something like that. In reverse, I'm kind of seeing that, I'm seeing someone who's really nice at first, really enthusiastic at first, really good at first, but then they don't manage that level of energy. So for example, like let's just say someone moved in and at first they were like so clean, so nice. They cooked a lot, it was great. And now I'm almost seeing they're like argumentative and not cleaning enough and like I, Something like that, that's just an example, but like it could even be someone you're dating. Like maybe they like love bombed you at first and they were really sweet. And then now it's just like, they're retracting it. And I, just a messy, immature situation is honestly what I'm picking up here. And maybe that's why this rune came out of like just protecting yourself. Boundaries are so important, y'all. Boundaries will save any relationship, okay? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, sixth card out. Sixth card out. You guys are hard workers. You really are. Like, I'm seeing you working so hard, trying to, like, get yourself financially together, saving up money, paying off debts, doing something like that. Hmm. There is an element of this week, though, where you're just, like, letting the wind take you where it may. Like, letting things kind of... Just, just kind of seeing what happens. Also, whenever the wind element comes out, it shows change. So I do see some things changing. And again, two more cards came out for you. We have the Hermit and the King of Coins in reverse. All of your court cards are in reverse this week. Uh, and you have a lot of court cards. So pay attention to the people around you. Um, this could be feeling separated from someone in your life, or maybe, mm, this is so confusing, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this could be an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, okay? This might be someone older than you or someone who has been in your life for a really long time and you recently have gotten into a falling out with them, broke up with them, something of that nature. Um, or they're making you feel really alone, unsupported. You, I, I get the sense of you feeling like you're more on your own this week. This could even be like a family member, like a dad figure. And now, like, I don't know, maybe they said something or did something. And now you really feel like I am, I have to take care of myself. I'm on my own. I, this is so complicated because I don't know you guys watching. I don't know you personally. I don't know your stories. I'm just seeing a situation with a male figure in your life or a masculine figure in your life where there was something said or something happened and now it's like you're feeling distant from them, okay? You feel like you don't have their support 
or maybe it's like a not even like a bad thing maybe it's just a practical thing like maybe you moved or they moved and they're literally not there to support you and you're kind of like maybe this figure was helping you out financially or maybe they were like kind of always like a backup plan for you or you just always had a place to go um, if you ever needed it, but now they're not there anymore. So you're you're feeling more independent in a sense, which is causing you to want to work really hard and just make sure that all of your ducks are in a row. You know, you have money and you can support yourself. You know, I'm, I'm seeing an unreliable male figure who you have like kind of distanced yourself from, whether they were financially unreliable, emotionally unreliable, or like you literally gotten in, into a falling out with them because they said something just so ridiculous and now you're feeling like okay i really gotta get my stuff together <laughs> mm, 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 mm. there's also an energy i see here with you of like wanting to be the protector and the provider for the people that are in your life that you enjoy which is yet another reason for you to work hard really interesting stuff okay final row we have the three of pentacles getting some recognition for the work that you do getting some uh recognition for what you have to offer this is being noticed in the workplace or if you have your own business or you social media something like that more recognition there which is great also i'm seeing you kind of resolving whatever issue was going on at the home <laughs> i do see you doing that this week fixing that leak or whatever the heck's wrong um, mending the bridge with someone so you're not arguing anymore. We have the Three of Swords in reverse, overcoming heartbreak, healing. Okay, I just feel like people might have betrayed you, betrayed your trust, made you feel like you had to do things on your own, which made you work super duper hard. Like, I don't know, I'm just seeing like someone screwing you over or like treating you very poorly, you making the realization I am on my own and then working really hard or trying to make money, trying to get your school stuff off the ground so that you can like, you know, it made you work harder. Final card out for this week. What a crazy week, guys. This might've been the most intense reading thus far for this week. Ninth card, we have the chariot. Oh my gosh, thank God. <laughs> Yes, this is so for that example, some of you guys who had a falling out with your father or fatherly figure, like I'm seeing you moving on, like moving out, moving on. So some of you guys might be a young adult watching and you're literally moving out of your parents' home or moving out on your own, something like that. And that's would make sense as to why you're like, okay, I gotta make money, I gotta figure everything out long-term. Or some of you guys might be going through a divorce, a breakup, or have done that. And now you're like, can I like live on my own financially? Can I do this on my own financially? So I see that for you as well. Or maybe even if you were like living on your own, got into a breakup separation with someone or had a falling out with your father, it just kind of like reaffirmed the fact that like, you gotta be solid on your own, you know, have that firm foundation on your own. And we see you moving up, moving on in the world because of this. You're leveling up from people hurting you, if that makes sense. Like they thought they could put you down, but you're leveling up. Mm, I should make that the title. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will see you for next week. Watch for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Bye-bye.